Hey, pipe smokers. <coughs> Travis here. Smoking my church warden. With a special reason today. I have a couple of, well, I have uh, one box opening and one um, contents of a box opening that I already did earlier in the week. I just been too busy to get to doing a video, so I decided that I'd go ahead and open the package and then I'd talk about it a little bit now. So I'll do that first. The special reason for smoking my church warden is that I received a uh, package from Old Pipe Pops Jr. Mark making change, and in honor of Old Pipe Pops, I'm smoking some of Mark's tobacco in my church warden. This was a custom church warden. It's a TV pipes uh, bowl and mount with a, a stem made by Tim Thorpe. And in it, I'm smoking a sample of Mark's own <coughs> Sweet Burly Jack. I know that I read somewhere in either a comment Mark made or in a video he made, I watched it, I can't, honestly can't remember of, of how he makes this. I think it was in a video he, he said, and I can't for the life of me remember, except that I think he soaks the tobacco, I, I think, in Jack Daniels. Um, I, Mark, correct me if I'm wrong, that, that may not be right at all, but... Some quick thoughts on the uh, tobacco before I move on to other things. It's really good, this is my second bowl of it. First in the church warden, and it reminds me a lot of uh, Black Velvet by Dan's Tobacco, where it has this, it, it's a sweet flavor, but not, not syrupy sweet or aromatically sweet. It's more of a, I don't know, it's just more of a full flavor, and sweet is a little bit of that. But it's really nice, it's, it smokes nice and cool, and... Just no complaints about it at all. I can see where you could just enjoy smoking this and puffing on it through most of the day. So, Mark, thank you very much for that. And let me show you the other samples he sent. We did a little bit of a trade, and his is on the way. He sent me two uh, samples of tobacco that I had never tried before. One of them is just kind of all the rage on YouTube right now, and that's uh, Mississippi River. So it has, it's in that uh, crumble cake or... Yeah, I think that's what you call it, where it comes in kind of the brick. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Haven't yet, but it smells awesome. Um, and the other is, is, of course it's all the rage, but it's also hard to find. And I think Mark came across some of this in Arizona. And that is Stonehaven by Esoterica. I love these nice, long, dark flakes. <clears throat> I've been told by multiple people... Um, who I've told that I really like University Flake by Peterson. It's it's one of my favorite tobaccos, if not my favorite tobacco. But it just kind of uh, rips my throat apart a little bit by the about midway through the bowl. Doesn't matter what pipes in or anything like that. So I thought, well, they keep saying you, you need to have Stonehaven. You should try that. So now we finally get to, so. Thank you very much, Mark, for those samples. I, I hope that <clears throat> uh, I hope that you are able to enjoy the samples I sent. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts on those. Um, secondly, I have a box opening. This is the... It came today in the mail. And it's the second part of my box opening that I just posted earlier today. That box opening was actually done over a week ago, but just hadn't got to posting it until now. Here I'm a little more on time. And this is two tobaccos from PipesAndCigars.com, one of which is a Father's Day present for my father-in-law. And the other is a tobacco for me. A 
by the way, if you want a nice review on this, go check out Glenn's review on this Burley Jack. Alright, so, got my little invoice. Everything's there. Which I gotta say, I really appreciate PipesandCigars.com. They're very good in communication and helping me with this. Um, and got it sent out right away from when everything came in. And, and actually, I'll tell you a quick story. The tobacco I wanted to purchase, uh, it still wasn't in. They they didn't have it, and they didn't foresee any time in the future when it was coming in. They, they didn't know when they would get more of it. And that was J.F. Germain's special lot of Kia Flake. I haven't seen a lot of videos about that on YouTube, but don't know who has tried it. I think Tim Mil Milverton68 has done a video on that, but anyway. I, I wanted another English mixture, so I went for J.F. Germain's um, 1820. So I've heard decent things about that. I've had J.F. Germain's plum cake. Uh, it, it's a good smoke. It, it's different. Uh, I think this one is, is doesn't have that kind of different tobacco in it that the plum cake states, so uh, I'll be interested to see how that is, see how it smells. That's a pretty good sealed tin because I can't really smell much through it, so that's good. The uh, tobacco that I got for my father-in-law is uh, Borkham Riff's Bourbon Whiskey Mixture. This is an over-the-counter type blend. Uh, I can find it at a lot of my... Uh, not brick and mortar tobacco, this I don't have any of those, but the, like the tobacco outlet stores. Um, they have that there, usually just in pouches, not in tins. And this is a tobacco that is no longer sold in the area of my father-in-law, where he's at. He can only get things like Smoker's Pride and uh, Captain Black. Uh, but this is what he used to smoke when my wife was growing up in, in their house. Um, and he uh, really likes this, so... That's what he's getting for Father's Day. Uh, it'll be late now since that was back ordered, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, just want to share those box openings with you. Mark, thanks again so much for the trade. Uh, I look forward to those tobaccos. Uh, definitely trying out uh, the Mississippi River and the Stonehaven. And uh, definitely thanks for the Sweet Burley Jack. It, it's, it's good. I, I really like it and um, would love to hear... Again, <laughs> how you put it together. So, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time.